Right then, let's see this. Let's see what this clown's saying. Hey, right then, right then, we got him. Right to continue. It's going nice. Accepting. Might be able to go. Hey, it's working. That's good. Want a rematch? <laughs> oh, for this, this is the only. This is the only match you're getting against me. <laughs> you, mean? you really think you're the prize, don't you? Bro, I'm the. I'm the. I'm top of the tree. Yeah, but you're fighting Bro. absolute. Don't you fighting donuts? Any all the time? I'm fine. You. You're the only fine donuts. Yeah, no. Midweek mayhem. You find against these bombs. You can't knock out. There's no I, no. I can. Stress. I can knock them out. I can, but I, I choose not to. You embarrassing yourself, bro. I don't know why you're fighting them. Like I don't get it. I don't know why you're doing it. You've do, you've done thirteen donuts in the pro game. Why did you? Do, what, why did you fight thirteen donuts in the pro game? Because I was getting because I was getting paid thirteen times. There you go then. Well, there you go. That's you're, not really well. paid, you're not getting paid on this show. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You're sure, but you don't know. I'm sure. You're not. You're not sure enough. I am getting paid, oh, son. Boy, how do you know I'm not sure enough? You're telling me those guys are getting paid. Those guys are not all of them. Paid. Not all. Not all of them. But you'll see. Soon. Look, oh, I'm, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fighting a few donuts at the moment. Compared to my level, you're a donut. What do you mean I'm a donut compared to your because level? I'm, because you're I'm not... yeah, The referee did the referee save you or not? Did the referee save you every round and give you a standing count every single round? Oh, you had a full camp to fight me when I didn't have a full camp. I didn't even know you was fighting you. you your man trying to stitch me up, bruv. Your man's round hey, Birmingham trying to stitch me up. You had a full camp? So you had a full camp? I never. I was training in the gym naturally. I never knew I was having a fight. So the guy come in the gym and says, you want 200 quid? I got to fought you for 200 quid. You fought for 200 quid? I fought you for 150 quid. Exactly. So that... Them quids could be different numbers, brother. And I'll bring the whole of Birmingham with me. No one's supporting you, bro. Your last fight was fucking empty. Your last fight was empty. I've got JK, Browser. I've got, uh, I've got a massive you context. You've got, uh, got HS, Tiki Taki, the biggest influencer in in, in, in in the industry right now. He's, he's much more entertaining than your man, KSI. I choose, I choose HS over KSI any day. You're waffling, you're waffling now because he trains at this gym. So what are you on about? I know he trains at your gym. He's told me that you're training, he told me you're training hard. He told me you're training hard. Oh, hey, Tommy, listen, you're waffling, man. You're waffling. You're JK you're training hard. HS ain't backing you. No one's backing you. Nobody. No one's backing you. you you're cauliflower people. You're, you're people there to take the mic out. That's what people are doing with you. Okay. Oh, well, uh, if, if it was oh, true, I'd take a, if it was true, I'd take, a, I'd take, I'd take offense it, but I beat you very bad. The worst beating you in your life was, was done by me. I beat you so bad in that ring, yeah, that you know now you are in a good position, but you don't want to fight me because all of that will go. I am the, I am your I am your competition. I am the guy that you should be saying I need to rematch it to prove myself that you've improved. The only way you can prove that you've improved myself against you. What? Got beat. Yeah, what I'll give you the worst beating of your life. What am I gaining from as I said before, what am I gaining from beating you? Your dignity. For what? Dignity from the beating that you received from me last time we fought. Bro, it wasn't a bad beating. Yes, thanks for the gift. It's not a bad beating. It was a terrible it was a more than bad. It was horrendous. You got absolutely mutilated. Bro, Every thought, rap, you, the referee with Dave you. I thought you and I went straight onto the door to work. So to me, that was not no. Bad. You didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You went home and held your head, bro, and went. You cried yourself to sleep. That's what happened. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm losing to you, you guys. Deep, come on. Sorry. No one wants to see me fight you. Well, they, we're, we're, trust me. When we when we match up, yeah. When there's a post I put there of Tommy and he's, he's back to destroy Idris Virgo. What for, for a start, right? The reason you have you, you've got some better, you've got some more famous people you could fight. I'll give you that. I'll grant you in a decent position, but fighting me is a, is a big risk. You know, it, it don't really make much sense for you to take that. It would, you know, financially and for your career rise, it'd be better to stay away from me. Listen, hey, listen, send me the pound size, I'll fight you. Well, Billy Joe Saunders offered you 200 grand if you can beat me, and you, you never took that, did you? No, 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 no. What was the purse if I fought you? That well, the, the, the purse is going to be very, very generous since you're on Misfits. What is it's the not, purse? You know, what, what is the purse? So, what I'm misfits saying? will give you a good purse. Sure, they would look after you, the A-side, didn't you? Wait, wait this is what I'm saying. No so, one's... Man, and you're misfits. the man on Misfits. No, they're not interested in fight. They're not interested in you. What? They're not interested in me fighting what? you. So they well, It's, it's your purse. dignity, bro. If you say, listen, this kid can bring the whole of Birmingham with him. I yeah, know I've got you a JK. Bro, you bro. No, bro, you, you, you're wrong. No Sorry? Your last fight, no one was there. Swan? <laughs> so there was no, more than one. 
Look, there's more than one. There's a, re- there's, a re- there's a reason why some people stitch people up in certain situations. You have to understand, me and you fighting is a big fight, brother. It really is. Okay, I agree. You're saying it's a big fight. Okay, fair enough. But who is going to go to the fight? Who's going to tune to see me whoop your ass? Everyone from what? Birmingham will come along. Trust me, the whole of Birmingham will come with me. People from Birmingham don't support each other. You know this already? No, they will. They will, bro. This fight, they would. People from Birmingham don't support each other. Hence, why we land. They don't support each other. And it's not even. I don't. I don't even. My my fan, fan like most of my fan base isn't in Birmingham. I've got people that that support me all over the country, brother. Oh, I'm, I'm actually bigger than you are. I'm actually bigger, bigger than you. You might have more followers on Instagram, but you're not as big as me in boxing. Yeah, but wait, wait, the thing is, did they come to your last fight? The last fight was in the middle of nowhere, and I never announced that it wasn't promoted properly. But they're not. So not. They're do, not you, do, do you honestly think? Do you honestly think that if me and you fought on misfits, that no one would show up? They'll show up for me, but they won't show up for are you. you looking for way out? Are you looking for a way out? Are you looking no, for a way they'll out? They'll show up for me. Sorry. They'll show up for me to win and beat your ass. It show up for you. See if you've improved since you okay, last. Okay. Since the last the question, the question is again, and listen. The question is, if you want to fight me, let's do it this way. The split is seventy and thirty. 75. So it's just, just about money for you, because realistically, you're in a better position, so you are the A side. Of course, it's about money. Yeah. Money pays the bills, and money pays the freaking roof over your head. <laughs> um, <laughs> 70, I don't know what I don't know about percentages, but I'm happy for you to take a bigger, bigger portion of the pie, hundred percent, brother. Because you're in a you're in a better position. You know I'm not no going to lie. No fight you because you're not entertaining and you're wank. That's why That's, you know it yourself. Coming from the person who copies everything I say, you copy I everything copy I do. What, uh, what was it? Uh, facial fears. Facial fears. Where did you get that from, mate? Facial fears. Facial fears. Then it come be, from you. Be honest for once in your life. Tell you say where you got it from. How did it come from you? Because the video, because the video, uh, the video yeah. on YouTube of me and you fighting when I made that montage and me and you face up, I put it in massive capital letters. Face your fears. Wait, when you I went to the ice it. bath, when you went into the ice bath in the river, that was a week after I did it. It was a week what? after I. Did it. Oh, you thought a oh, good idea? I'd jump in the water and go. Oh. Just like Tommy Ends did. Just be oh, honest with God. yourself, bro. Because you be honest with yourself. You smoke weed or something. Be honest with yourself. You can lie to the audience, but you can't lie to yourself. Lie to myself. I ain't lying to myself. Look, look, at look at him. Everyone you. can see. Why are you on the, what are you smoking? And, and, and when I get a misfit, it's also people like Tyrone will back me. Tyrone, Bouncer, Bouncer. Oh. I've, much bigger, I've got much more. I've got a much better network of people than you. You've you only name got this, you name this, make a poster, top of your share it, all those guys you're naming, put, put a poster out, share it, and see if anyone's interested in the account, or not, no one's interested. I'm 100%. Not to soon see, brother. You, you don't really understand, do you? I don't understand because you're, you're walking. Today, this makes sense. You know what you're saying? You've been avoiding this for a long time, but it's coming, bro. I'm coming for you. I'm losing the weight. Yeah? I'm losing the weight. I'm coming down in weight. You're coming down the you're, you're seeing me do it in that you're ring. The same, you're the same way it's from like five years ago. You're not coming down in no way. If I have to, if I've got if it's a fight that's worth doing it, I will die I will diet. I will have a diet and I'll train. Why is but I'm not gonna diet for Tyrone says huh? if we're interested, we're interested still. Tyrone, no one's interested. Tyrone 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 will promote it as well. Tyrone's massive, much no bigger than you'll ever be. No one's interested. If you're saying you're getting paid on that mayhem, mid, mid, midweek mayhem, let's fight on that then. You want to fight me on midweek mayhem? Payment. What, what? So you what? So you make all this noise about money? Look, stop, stop moving the goalpost. Stop moving the goalpost. Stop moving the goalpost. Stop moving the goalpost. Wait, stop it. Get paid? First of all, you need to admit that you copy me. First of all, admit that you copy me. First of all, get paid. Let's get to the first point. You copy me? Yes. Face your fears. Face your fears, and I am your fear. That you need to face. Oh my gosh, you're waffling, man. You said people get paid on that freaking. Swear, you know, swear on you, swear on your mum's life that you didn't copy. It. Swear on your mum's life that you didn't copy. It. Well, I'm gonna swear on Mark's life, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> bro, don't lie. You copy me, bro. You all copy me. Even Jake Paul's copying me. You all, um, you all copy uh, now, me, bro. Now Jake Paul's copying you. Yeah, copy yeah. Ben and you know. What the fuck is that guy? You're all know. living in my shadow. It's hilarious that I do something and then I uh, do something. And then, you know, you man are doing it and saying it. It's, it's, it's cringy, bro. Get me on live. I'll go live. Get me on. Yeah, Tyrone said he'll join the live. Come on and jo- come on, die. Come on, Tyrone. Join the live and tell this guy, yeah, that you've got my back. 
Tell this guy now, Tyro. Come on, let's end this little battle. Let's get into the real boxing match. What happened? Tyro's doing right now. I'm inviting you now, Tyro. Come on, line. Tell this guy for me. Tell this guy. What, tell this guy the the people that we we've got in the battle. I've ended it. I've ended it, Tyro. Uh, look at him. No, what's excuse? I'm not in the weight. Now I'm in the weight. Now no one's relevant. Then I am relevant. Birmingham will be behind me. I've got JK's my boy, bro. Oh, and JK's my boy. Tiki's cut talk is my boy. No one's your boy. They are my no boys, too. He's my boy as well, bro. Yeah, everyone's bored. You like a fucking puppy. They, they shring you where you don't want to shring you. Hello, Tyrone. Sattening. I listen. I listen. What was in the last fight? Let me just double check quickly. What was What was the... Was it a win or loss? It was a bet. It was a loss for me. <sighs> Aye, brother. Well, sure, Let's be real with it, yeah? Huh? Obviously, you're the A side, isn't it? Like you said, you take the bigger purse, go 70 30, or whatever you want to do, but avenge the loss, isn't it? Avenge loss for what? Anyway, what am I gaining from this? From fighting Tommy? <laughs> yeah, but what you'll gain from it, what yes. you'll gain from it is showing that you've improved, isn't it? Over the time. Do you, you get me? Improved? I jumped, to the, I jumped in the ring in two weeks' notice just to get a paycheck. I don't, like, to me, I don't gain anything from it. If you look at it like in boxing history, look at it for example for Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. When when obviously Joshua got on the bigger side, he rematched Dillian White to prove obviously that he's improved from the amateur days. So essentially, you fought in a amateur way. What was it on a white collar fight? Now you're on misfits on the big stage. You got Tommy Hedge here. That beat. It makes sense. It does make sense. And, and we're both from Birmingham. Tommy, you can't make the way anyway, so I don't know where this is going. It keeps like moving the goalposts, everybody. No, 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 no. Obviously, obviously, look, there's business to it, innit? There's business to it. Get the weight right. Get the bag right. And obviously, surely there's a fight. I'm sure Mams will entertain it, bro. Mams will entertain it. Listen, I know Mams ain't going to entertain this. Mitch just ain't you interested in Tommy Hench. I'll, I'll guarantee we could we could round up enough people for it to make sense, hundred percent. No, listen, if it could happen, I'll fight him. But I guarantee it's not going to happen. It's not normal. You're trying to fight. talk it off because you, stop talking to talk it off. Then why are you be so negative about it, bro? Why are you trying to move the goalpost? And you sound like it. You sound like I don't even want to use the word. No, listen, do you know what the easiest thing to say is, just isn't it? Is to be like, do you know what? Cool, it ain't worth my time and done it there. But if you beat around the bush on it, it just sounds like. Like you're shook off the fight. Sure. But there's nothing. <laughs> not like, look, 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 look at it like this. There's nothing wrong with saying, like, oh, do you know what? It's not worth my time. Let me know when it's worth my time. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Do you get me? No one's going to say, oh, Idris is a, a pussy out about that. No one's going to say that. Because business is business at the end of the day. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but hence that... why, hence why, you know, when KSI fights, he only fights when the bag makes, right, makes sense. He ain't gonna KSI ain't gonna just fight anybody. It's gotta make sense. So if it makes sense for you, then say it can make sense. If it doesn't, then it don't make sense. And then the conversation's I mean, if, if it makes sense and Mitsu is having, we'll get the fight on. But all I'm saying is, plain point. I just don't see it having no misfits. They're not interested. I think it can. Who who would you say is your next level up fight? Who would you say like if you had a list of three people? Chris O'Veary got Slim, and you've also got Josh, Jake Buswick. So, do you feel Slim will entertain a fight against you? Yeah, he will. In the position he's in, yeah? Yeah. Same way, same way, same way, I'm entertaining Tommy. I'm now. the same weight, man. Stop making excuses about no, weight. I can make 80 kilos. Like, in, the same in weight, weeks. the same way, same, same way. Same way, I said same way. Oh, sorry. So, so, you get a bit too excited, bro. Calm down. Same way. Was it weight? Did he say weight? Did he say weight? Same weight? No, nah, it's the same way, isn't it? He's saying same way. Slim would entertain Idris. It's the same way Idris would entertain you in it. Well, he, he, if he's no, 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 no. so if he if he if it's the same way and you can get that fight, then this fight can also happen. Also, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. What I'm trying to say to you guys, Mitchell's ain't gonna entertain it. Tell me, you're not a number. You're not a catch. You, you, you like you you bring no value. I do actually. You just don't see the value because you don't want to see the value. Because I'm trying to explain uh, to you how this value can... He went viral on Worldstar for a big knockout, I can't lie. It's, it's, it's in the boxing, out, it's you might have more followers on Instagram, you might have more followers on TikTok, but in the boxing industry, bro, I have got so much more reputation than you could ever imagine that you'd claim. <laughs> you, you have no idea? Yo, I, I can see Tyrone's alive as well. Listen, you're wank. You got no reputation in the boxing industry. 
I thought Tom Little, an ex-professional boxer, Whoa. heavyweight, with 125 for 20 kilos. You thought, you thought 13 donuts in the professional boxing ring. You've crossed over and fought and the Geordie Shaw star that can barely tie shoelaces in the boxing ring. And I got a good record, like. What's, what's your pedigree? Anyone can have a good record of the DJs. You can have a good record against 10 donuts. Right, look, Idris, if I was you, right? If I was you, right now, Tommy Hench ain't in shape. Yeah? You set a date as quick as it can be, and you've got the advantage. Because look, you're in the gym right now. Tommy's in his car. You, Tommy, you train today? Just just come from the gym, to be honest. I've just come from the gym. Okay, actually. okay. But Tommy ain't training like you are right now, with you, isn't it? So I'm, I'm three days back. into my camp. I'm three, I've been three or four days training. He's, he's absolutely from right. A, from a fitness point of view... Anyway. From a fitness point of view, Idris, you've got a lot more experience and you're in condition right now. You probably could jump in the ring and do six to eight rounds easy now, right? Oh, no. I just come back from holiday. Okay, okay, maybe not then. Mate. I, don't I, don't, the I, don't, I don't I don't need the cam to beat Tommy anyway. Oh god, give it a break, oh, man. You got absolutely listen. slaughtered. How can you be so dead? Did I hit you that hard that you forgot? I have to remind you how hard I hit you. Bro, you don't hit hard, you do some freaking world. What do you mean? It was like this, the referee was he was like it's gum shield was coming at every you spent your gum shield four or five times in a three minute round. The referee stopped you three or four times in a three in a two in a three round, two minute round fight. You got absolutely minutes. the worst beating of your was life was, was 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 from me, bro. Like on on, on everything, bro. On, on the on the truth is, you got brutalized by me. We went, tell, tell, tell the child. Right, right, I got some questions. All right, Idris, does does it bother you that Tommy Hench beat you in the past? Does it bother me? Be honest. No, it doesn't bother me, nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as bro, a, no, as wait, a... bro, you're not good. Like, you got no, 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 but okay, but if okay, look, look, look. So going by what you're saying, you're saying he's not good, yeah. So yeah. if someone that's not good beat you, and now you're on the big stage and everything like that, you know, that's got a thing in the back of your mind, like, bro, how did I let this guy that's not good beat me? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I'm being, I've been built different, man. That doesn't bother me. But I'll fight. The thing is, I'll fight Tommy Hinch. I'll tell you now, I'll fight him. But the thing is, misfits won't make it happen. Oh, I already know. He's hiding behind weight. Hiding serious. behind misfits. 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 I bet misfits would entertain it though. What What would be a more ent What would be a more entertaining fight with than you and Tommy Hinch right now? Me against Chris Iveri. Me against Jake Bostwick. Me against other fighters who got bigger names and bigger more clout. Tom is going I'll, I'll be real. I, I don't want to show no disrespect, but them two names that you said, I, I don't actually know who they are, innit? I'll be real. Like, I don't yeah, know. But, yeah, but in the midst of the universe, people know who they are. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so wouldn't it be better to bring another audience to Misfits? Yeah, but Tommy's got no audience. Is what I'm trying to say. But, but, no but essentially, okay, cool. Tommy Hench might not have the numbers, but in terms of being known and being in front of viewers and stuff like that and recognized by face. He definitely does have that. So if people did see that, I, I guarantee a lot of people on Misfits probably will recognise Tommy Hench's face from Sunday Smoke, Midweek Mayhem, and all that sort of stuff. Do you get me? Nobody knew who Edges was until I called until I called him out. Nobody knew who Edges was. Ram Birmingham. He's not. He's not respected. He's not respected in the boxing industry. You're known for you're known for stripping on on um Love on Love Island. You're not known for being a boxer, bro. Listen, you're known for being a stripper. Listen, be, be, be real, bro. Listen, be real. Head. Billy Joe Listen, Saunders you offered you two hundred k. Billy Joe Saunders, yeah, offered you two hundred k for me. What was my purse to fight you? You forget. Billy Joe, what listen to what I'm saying. You? In the boxing industry, don't change the subject. In the boxing industry, I am respected. You are not. You are known for being a stripper. You are known for being a stripper. I bring a boxing audience. I've got people like Tyrone's my boy, bro. He stood up for me. You said, where are these people? Tyrone is bigger than you. Ten yeah, times bigger than big, you. Big Ten numbers, times yeah. bigger than you, yeah. and he's got my back, brother. I've got yeah. people like this that got on my back. Round to fight you. HS Tiki Toki. Much bigger people oh. than you, bro. Just stop, stop the cap. I am a very oh. valuable fight for you. Stop the cap. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, Dan, stop it. Not. I'm a very valuable fight for you. I'm you need sure somebody I'm who's a. You need. You can't be fighting influencers. Hear me out. Stop talking while I'm talking. You need. Stop it. No one wants to see you against influencers. Your huh? crowd has made it very clear that you're picking on influencers. You need to fight somebody with a bit about them. And I'm that guy. I'm the guy that, that gives you nightmares. I know you're scared of me, bro. But after we've fought, you. we can shake hands. You can have a rematch. You can try again. You can come back and try again. Then I can have the 17. You can have the 13. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Idris, you didn't really shake hands, so it's a personal thing, yeah? Yeah, I was talking. You're getting a bit personal. You're getting a bit personal now. I'll be honest. You're getting a bit personal. Is a... 
least now there's a real fight. You know, like most of the fights that happen nowadays are not real. There's no backstory to it. This one's got a backstory. It's got history, and it makes sense. The minute that all your misfit audience start realizing the history between you and Tommy Hens, people are going to be invested because finally there's something real. There's something that's actually built up over the years, and now you can either avenge your loss. You get me? You got a chance to avenge your loss that you had against Tommy Hens. Okay, I'll avenge your loss, but the thing is, you guys come to the wrong guy. I mean, I'm not. Look, I'm, I was, I was let, let in bed. I was seeing you two going at it. I want to see Tommy Hens. Progress, you get me. Like I want to see him progress. Well, I, but, I, but, but for him to fight me, he's not going to progress. He's just why, would he, down the ladder. why would he not? Because I'll beat him. I'll knock him out. I'll beat yeah. him, but you know. But then, but then that, if that's the case, then you get an easy win, though. Yeah? I don't mind the easy win. I'll fight him. I'm saying I'll fight Tommy Hench. But the, the question is, will he? Would he fight me on misfits? The question is yeah. no. The answer to that is no. I'm sure. So so okay. So. Let's tick the boxes right now. For it to happen on Misfits, what is the criteria? What is the, the checklist for it to happen on Misfits? Good person, right weight. So let's 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 have it right. Tommy Hench can be entertaining out of the ring and in the ring, yes or no? No, we'll carry on. <laughs> Brother, who, who else do you think looks? Bro, the way Tommy Hench fights, yeah, it's messy, it's scrappy, he throws fucking wing mills. It's, it's mental to watch. So, like, of course anyone's going to want to watch someone throwing windmills against somebody that is tidy. You, you would say you're a tidy fighter, right? Yeah. So that's going to be entertaining. Yeah, I'm not going to... Okay, it'll be entertaining. So from a, from a boxing perspective, it's entertaining. From an entertainment point of view, it's going to be entertaining. You two's got the history behind each other. He's beat you already. You, you've you now moved on to better things. You're earning the big bag, everything like that, on the big stage. You're around a lot of good people. You get me? But, like, look, I, one thing I don't want to do, because someone said about pressuring, I, I don't want it to seem like it's pressure. No, I don't like just, pressure. I'm not pressuring. I'll fight him. Personally, not pressuring me. No, no, no. Personally, <laughs> it's just a liar. Everything he says is a liar. Yeah, no, 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 Everything you say is like, don't push me, I'm not lying. Now, look, 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 personally, there's nothing wrong, yeah, and people need to get get this right. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what? I'm flapping. Wanting to fight. There's nothing wrong with that. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying you're scared. Just say, tell me, Edge, I've got in a good position now and I don't want to lose it all with you coming in the ring again and walking at me. Even with the face full of blood and just point, repeatedly punching me in the face and, and taking let's, everything let's I've got. Okay, let's get this on. Let's get it on. The question oh. is, will whenever, you ready, whenever you're ready. On. Let's get it on. Whenever you're ready, then. Is he there? Let's get it on. Idris Virgo, number two, get this going. Let's get it on. Freaking I'll smash a multi instead of yours, you little cunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing now. No, you're laughing now. You're laughing now, but you press the wrong buttons now. <laughs> uh, Idris, Idris, what would be the weight? Well, I'm um, 79 kg, 175. 79, you know. Right, 82, Tommy, you got like, 82. Tommy, you got like 15 to lose, right? I've got uh, eight. I'm at 88 kilos. I'm at a weight. I weighed myself early, and I proved it to him earlier. He said he keeps making excuses. He said I wasn't gonna make the weight. And I was in the gym just, and I and I got aye, on the scale. Stevo, Stevo, jump on live real quick. Let's get you in real quick. Stevo is getting involved now. Wait, 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 Right now, let's let's bring Sivo in. Sivo, go live normally, real quick, please. Yeah, because I gotta go training a bit. You know what I mean, I gotta get in, get into shape to beat this geezer's ass. What, you didn't need to train for me. There's another lie. Nah, because I want to knock you around and bow you. So one, because I've exposed the amateur. Put the coat cover over your side, bro. Face your fears, kid. Face your fears. Face your fears. You face your fears. I'm better than Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, I'm better than Floyd Mayweather. What you in the boat? <laughs> oh, Jesus! You're fucking yeah, muppet in it. You're fucking clown. Hear him, hear him, hear him switching off on me. Now, this is an exciting nice. fight. I'll be real. He's angry, look. Like, he's mad. <laughs> why, are you, why are you laughing for? Seriously, why are you laughing? I can't wait. You're going to you remember, you remember? I'm going to remind you. That's why I'm yeah, laughing. I'm going to remind you. What? Remind me for what? The oh, Zero jumping on. Zero, let's that's go. That's what I'm saying. You've forgotten. You've forgotten. I'll remind you. When the bell goes, when the bell goes, I'll remind you. When the bell goes, I'll remind you. What are you going to say then? You lost your last fight, didn't you? No, I didn't. You lost the belt. No, I didn't. I chinned him. And you'll get chinned as well. You're going to get chinned. You're going to get You're sent to the land of make-believe, kid. Send me make-believe. The land of make-believe. I'll make you wake up and apologize for what you're saying now. What?
You heard mm. me. But you're giving it bad. You're giving it ten bears on the internet right no, now. You know what? You know what? I like. Giving it ten Idris, bears on the Idris, internet. Idris, 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 you're not that guy. A few of your fights. You're not that guy, Idris. Wait, Tommy, Tommy, wait, wait. Do you know what I like here? Because I've never seen this side of Idris, so this is good. You get me? I've never seen this side of Idris, so this makes it exciting, bro. I'm, I'm excited because I'm seeing the. You know, the more aggressive side of Idris come out, the trash talk and all that, bro. Love to see it. Do you get me? So I think oh, it makes sense. Because I'm going to freaking teach this guy a lesson. How old are you? 40? Mm. Not even 40 hey. yet. Yeah, hey, not granddad. even 40 yet. Granddad. Granddad. Steve-O! Steve-O! Speak My generation's much stronger than yours. You've got a weak-ass generation. And I'm going to show you my generation got brand bro. The last of the last breed of good men. Oh, 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 Steve, oh, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> right, let me say that, no. Let's not, like, big up Tom. Easy, easy. Let's not pretend that Idris hasn't been away the last year working hard to build himself. Like, he's been doing crazy shit at a, a great... Idris, we... All right, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I love him. I love him. But listen, that's nah, so That's got to come into it. That's got to come into it. But on the underground... You've been doing your thing as well, so it's like, I'm liking it. All right, so Steve-O, let me ask you some questions, right? Let's not lie, like you say, Idris is A-side, correct? 100%. So let's just throw some figures out there. 70, 30, Idris more the favour in terms of a financial point of view, right? Would that make more, would that make sense? Yeah? So I'd, I'd say it'd make more sense. And I'd say, and I'd say, but the, the 30 that Tom would get would still be good if we build this up the right way. Mm. If it's mm. built up the right way, 30% is not bad. I know it look, I know it seems like a knock, but as I said, he's been doing his thing on that side of it, the commercial side, the zone, all the rest of it. Um, plus he had a bit of previous as well. Um, but I think if we build the fight up proper, that's that that 30% is still life-changing for our families and all the rest of it. Exactly. So Steve will also say this, right? Go on. Do you feel there's a more exciting fight for Idris right now than Tommy Hench? Bearing in mind the history that they've two got. Tommy Hench has beaten him before in a white collar fight and everything like that. Idris has gone on to do great things, let's not lie. But Tommy Hench has been doing things in the underground world, taking people's heads off, going on world star and everything like that. Does this fight make sense? Or would you say if you was in Idris's corner, this fight doesn't make sense, leave it. Be honest. I I know Idris is a real good fighter, innit? Anyone else, I'd probably say, you know what? Maybe leave it, leave it, right? <laughs> but 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 Here Idris Idris is a top fighter. Like, put it this way, I spoke to Idris a couple of weeks ago. All right, Idris, look, hey! got, we're twinning it, we're twinning. <laughs> we, we've both got the thing in it, it's cool. He's a stripper, I told you he's a stripper, he's a TikTok stripper, not a boxer. Hey, listen, listen. A TikTok I spoke stripper. to Idris a couple of weeks back, and we were finding it hard to find fighters, a lie. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah, my exactly. point. So who would make more sense than Tommy Hench right now in Idris's point of the career? Like, who would make more sense than Tommy Hench having the history they've got? It, I, it reminds me of, you know, the Ash, Andy Joshua, Dillian White situation. You know where Dillian White beat him in the amateurs? Then Joshua went on to do great things and Dillian White came up a little bit and then Joshua met him. Do you get me? It reminds me of that. Very similar, very, very similar. But... Dillian was still professional, had, you know what I mean, had like belts and whatnot, but very similar, very, very similar, very similar. But you know what I like it for? I like it for the story. I think what you can do on socials with this, like, and it's legit, it's authentic, um, it's crazy, but it really has to make sense to Idris. It does, come on. Financially. I've got I've got HS Tiki Taki back in me. I've got lo loads of big... Let, I've got let, people in Birmingham back in me. Up, man. Let, let, let the big boys talk. Carry on, guys. Listen, you'll get, you're going to get, you'll remember that. I remember that. The big boys talking it. They're doing the talking. Just, they just had a little say. They just had a little say, brother. They're just a mug like you. So shut your mouth <laughs> and let them talk. Idris, you, you know you got that energy in person, bro.
Did you mean I got an engine person? I got, got an engine, engine person. person. Like, oh my god, you were gonna get you're it. Flat, you're remind you. Bergen, get hit over a baseball bat on top of your freaking head. And I'm still here. And I'm still here. Yeah, you're an idiot. Here. You can't hit harder than the. You can't hit idiot. nobody harder than the cricket bat. You know it's already multi's ahead. The worst beating of your life. You still get. You still get. You still get sleepless nights about it, don't you? Do you remember me? You need to go watch it again, do you? You need to go to YouTube and watch it again. Tell me it's versus you. Just a gun. A few times. I watched it a few times. Exactly. Couldn't get me out of there. Oh, the, the referee kept protecting you. The oh, referee kept dumping in and saving you. The, the referee said, but, but your bodyguard, you know your bodyguard? Do you remember that bodyguard that was in the ring with you? What do you mean bodyguard? Because everybody in Birmingham was trying to set me up with you because I thought I was crap. And then I come and bust you. I you bust your ass bad. Because you are crap. Sorry? No, I ever do, fine. I'm going to knock you out. Simple as You're going to try. You're going to try. And then once you start feeling the windmills landing on your chin again, all your memories going to go back. Oh my God, I should have done this. I should have went and fought a Love Island star or something. I should have Someone that hasn't seen the last fight, was it close? What was happening? You know, it was a brutal beating. Listen, a brutal beating. Tommy, Tommy, you know, got counts on him and everything like that. That's probably the easiest way to put it. The referee was like, leave him alone, leave him alone. Listen, Tommy, at the end of the day, Tommy had a full camp. I had a two-day to jump to the ring. Simple as they that. Tried to, Steve, they're trying to set me up, you know, because I thought I was crap around Birmingham. And look, people do mistake my 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 uh, my boxing style and think I'm crap. And that's what he and then that's what they thought they thought, oh, we'll get him in to make you just look good. And they paid me 200 quid, shift trying to shift me in some ring. And then he, this kid come out 19 years of age, walking all look at look at the shape of him, the size of him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, afraid, like, no, I'm, a big I'm a big man. Now. Leader, brother, set me up. And I'm talking, it's 11 years ago, though. Exactly. 11 yeah. years ago. I, was, I was a kid then. Now I'm a man. I'm gonna bush you. I'm gonna win. You're a man. You. <laughs> I'm gonna make you apologize. You can't be a man. You're not a man yet. You're not a man because I took it. I took your manhood. I took your manhood. I've got your dignity right here, Tommy. kid. All right, Tommy, 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 back, I'm gonna, I'm Tommy let me ask you a question. What would it mean for you for this fight to be on Misfits? Like, what would it really mean to you? Um, I mean, obviously, I think uh, it'd mean the world, bro. I think, I think I've, I've done boxing. I've done. I've dedicated a lot of my life to boxing. And I've seen people like Idris that not even half the man I am get a lot further because they, they take their clothes off and... <laughs> No, because I got a bit bad in you. Don't, don't, don't disgrace. You know what I mean? What I'm saying it's it's it's, it's, it's sad, sad, really, because I'm I am the I am the man. I am I am the Birmingham heavyweight champion. I've got my uh, title. Right, there we go. I'm not fine, heavyweight idiot. I'm like. Well, I can get down to. I can get down to crew. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm anyway. I don't really have a weight class. I'll fight anyone at any weight. Don't bother me. Yeah, I fought people at 150 down. kilos. 100, no, 130 kilos. I fought people heavier than me, and I'll, I can get down. I'm only a, I'm only a middleweight, really. I should be a middleweight, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not your bro. Don't say a bro. I'm not your bro. I you know, right, 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 right now. Look at no this. Interest, this yeah. is like, no interest. Wait, this thing, wait, bro. Tommy, wait, wait. Steve, have you ever seen this side of interest like out in the socials before? I haven't. <laughs> I've got his dignity once, right here. Maybe once. Like, I haven't seen it. So I like seeing this, you know. It's good. It gives a yeah, gift. <laughs> I remember. I know my twin in it. He, he's got his. Exactly. Listen, right. he knows, he knows, he like, that's why this is very interesting, because I know Tommy's from that side, and I know Tommy's thinking this guy's a, a sweet boy, a love islander. That's why I like it. That's why I like it, bro. This is Apollo Creed, what's his name? What's Creed, the other one? The, the latest one. With uh, the Creed. Tyson. Looks like Tyson and Apollo Creed's son. That's what this is for me, like, yeah. the last one. Get me? Hopefully Tommy's not an arsehole like that guy, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm alright, I'm, I'm lovely, I'm lovely, I actually. Bro, I've met you, you're alright, man. You're Thank cool. you, bro, Idris, man. you're saying the bag's got to make sense. If the bag makes sense, then it's on. Yeah, if, if the bag makes sense, it's the fight will be on, 100%. There you go. I don't think they need to go around them circles anymore, innit? I think the fight will be on and your lights will be off, kid. My lights will be off? Hey, your lights going to be off, man. You can have a, I'll give you a rematch and then I'm having 70. Okay, well, I'm, my I'm, favorite. How, wait, I'm how old beat you? How old are you? Rematch, I want 70. I'm having grandad. 70. You're right, kid. How old are you? I'm going to feel bad when I beat a granddad. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 25. I identify as 25 years of age. <laughs> I'm self-identified as 25. My back, foot, my back foot's 25 years of age. You're a freaking moppy. My generation have produced real strong how men with good you? values. How old are you? <laughs> Why are you how old am I? 25? I told you. Well, I you? identify as 25. Why are you? Wait, I've got to get ready. I've got an event. Yeah, yeah man. man. I'm going to just cut as well because it's, it's going around in circles. Big up yourselves. Hey, I'll speak to you later, everyone. Safe. Yeah, Safe, man. boys. Thank right, you. I hope this happens, boys. I'm going to cut in it because it's going around in circles. Big yeah? love, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.